This epic Hollywood film was shot on a camera that we all know and most of us could afford. And that was the FX3. What's going on guys? Today I wanted to talk about this new Hollywood blockbuster that had the budget to choose any cinema camera they wanted and they decided to go with the FX3. The DP of this film, Greg Frazier, is someone that has DP'd incredible films like Dune and Batman. And if you haven't seen either one of those, go watch those and marvel at the masterpiece that he has put together in those films. The cinematography is absolutely insane. Now this is incredibly exciting because this movie has the ability to choose any camera under the sun that they want to go with for their film. And they decided to go with a camera that a lot of you guys have sitting at home right now. And that is what I want to break down in this video today because I think a lot of you guys are going to be very surprised by the outcome. Now before we jump into this video, this is the last week to enter into our giveaway that we're doing. We are giving away a filmmaking package and all you have to do is like and subscribe to the channel and comment down below. Paul in on a budget. You will be eligible to win this package and one lucky winner will be announced very soon. So I just wanted to let you guys know before we start this video, we don't know what shots specifically were shot on the FX3. I would imagine that for some of the more heavy VFX shots, they use something with a larger sensor and much higher resolution, but no one knows for sure. However, what we do know is the reason why they use the FX3 is because of its high dual native ISO of 800 and 12,800. And for reasons I'm not sure exactly why, Greg liked the fact that it was a really tiny, small form camera. And we know this because our man Greg leaked it on this podcast. You know, the, the Sony FX3, for example, you know, mm. this amazing, amazing yeah. prosumer camera. I'm about to use that on a, on a film I'm shooting in Thailand. It's so ridiculous that it's so small and it can, it's such high ISO for such a small camera. Now, I read that they used Atlas anamorphic lenses and what's pretty crazy about that is that I wouldn't necessarily say that those are affordable lenses to the average filmmaker, but you can rent them. They are affordable if you're renting them. They are affordable maybe if you buy them used. So they're using all this prosumer gear that we actually have access to. Now, of course, they're using super expensive lights and they got an insane crew and they probably rigged the hell out of that FX3 and I'm dying to know you know, what codex they were shooting on and what resolution they shot most of the film on and specifically what shots were shot on this camera opposed to anything else that they used. I wanted to make this video for a few reasons. Number one, it's incredibly inspiring to know that they're making major Hollywood budgeted films on gear that me and you could afford because that means that reaching that quality of filmmaking is actually obtainable. Now I've said it before and I'll say it again, there is no better time to be a filmmaker than right now. You know, 10 years ago, if you wanted to reach that level of film production, you needed to go out and buy a camera that was 40 or $50,000. Now you're able to do it with a $4,000 camera that you could fit into the palm of your hand. That's insane. And the other reason why it's exciting is because it really shows you that it's not about the gear you're using, it's about how you use it. These guys are making films at the highest level. And you would think that they want the most expensive gear, they want the biggest, craziest rigs, but it's actually the exact opposite. Our man Greg said it himself, he's blown away by how small the camera is. So don't think that you need all of this crazy gear or souped up camera rig to actually make your film or shoot your documentary. Honestly, I don't know if you guys agree with me, but I really truly feel like as filmmakers, we have to stop putting gear on a pedestal and we have to start really honing our storytelling skills. and learning the basics of cinematography and just getting down what is going to be able to help us tell the best stories. Because I truly believe that we're headed towards a place where I think gear is going to become obsolete. And I think it's going to even the playing field between Hollywood and the kid in their basement writing a story with a dream. And I can't wait to see a world where everyone has access to Hollywood level content in the palm of their hand. And the ones who are being praised are the best storytellers. So I'd like to thank you guys for stopping by, hanging out with me, and talking about this really awesome movie and this really awesome camera. My name is Alex Arfati. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.